Anti-Semitism. What does it derive from? What factors cause this ancient hatred of Jews, a hatred that takes on a different mask in each historical period? Excuses have never been lacking. Religious reasons, economic reasons, or psychological reasons of hatred of the other and hatred of minorities. At the end of the 19th century, in the spirit of the time, the ancient anti-Semitism adopted a new, supposedly scientific basis. Herzl encounters the scientific anti-Semitism and immediately identifies the dangers it conceals for the Jewish people. Will they expel us? Will they kill us? I assume things will robe themselves in all the forms I have enumerated, as well as others. During the first half of the 20th century, racial anti-Semitism intensifies, peaking with the horrors of World War II. In less than a year, most of Hungary's Jewish population was murdered in the Auschwitz gas chambers, in the death marches, or on the banks of the Danube, stripped of their clothes, shot by the Hungarian Arrow Cross death units, falling into the freezing waters. The great majority of Hungarian Jewry was murdered during the Holocaust, totaling some 560,000 Hungarian Jews. There must be another way, the path of tolerance. Tolerance is acceptance of the other, as she or he, without fear, without hatred, without preconceptions. It is inextricably linked to humanism, liberalism, and democracy, and therefore it is no wonder that the great liberal revolutions of the 19th century bore a message of tolerance towards Jews. Ferenc Dejak and Jula Andrasi, among the leaders of the 1848 Hungarian Revolution, also supported full integration of Jews into society, and in 1867, the Emancipation Law constituted one of the first laws passed by the Hungarian Kingdom. The liberal leadership, led by Lajos Kossuth and Kalman Tisza, fought against the ever-growing anti-Semitism in Hungary. As long as I hold this position, I shall not allow any harm to come to innocent Jews. Emancipation tore down the walls of the ghetto for many Jews, allowing them to integrate into areas of philosophy, science, trade, and literature in Hungary. But even those who felt themselves to be fully Hungarian did not manage to flee the horrific fate awaiting Jews in World War II. During this darkest period, the darkness was illuminated by hundreds of Hungarians who assisted Jews while risking their lives to do so. After the war, these Hungarians were awarded the title Righteous Among the Nations of the World by Yad Vashem. Cooperation and acts of tolerance exist today as well. But despite terrible past history, anti-Semitism continues to rise in Hungary. Which way is Hungary headed? Which way is history headed? The decision is in our hands.